Joe, what is going on in the royal family? Questions tonight as Prince William pulls out of a memorial service for his godfather due to a personal matter. Kensington Palace making the announcement, but with little further detail. The king, too, has been noticeably absent as he continues with his cancer treatment. And all this coming as Buckingham Palace announces the death this evening of Thomas Kingston, the husband of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent's daughter, Lady Gabriella Kingston. To shed some light on what all might be going on, and there's a lot at the moment, Talk TV's royal editor, Sarah Hewson. Um, Sarah feels like non-stop at the moment in terms of statements uh, from the palaces. Tell us what the latest is. Uh, sorry, we'll start with that really sad news this evening, uh, Rosanna, about Thomas Kingston. He is the husband of uh, Lady Gabriella Kingston, the daughter of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent. Uh, it was announced this evening that he has died at the age of 45. Uh, a Buckingham Palace spokesperson said that the King and Queen had been informed of Thomas's death and they joined Prince and Princess Michael of Kent and all those who knew him in grieving a much loved member of the family. In particular, their majesties send their most heartfelt thoughts and prayers to Gabriella and all the Kingston family. Uh, it he was found dead uh, last night, we understand, at around 6 p.m. at Rosanna at an address in Gloucestershire. Emergency services were called to that uh, address where they found that he had died. There's going to be an inquest, uh, but we're told there are no suspicious circumstances and no other parties involved. So really, really sad news for the royal family today. And it certainly explains why Lady Gabriella Kingston, who was the uh, goddaughter of King Constantine of Greece, was absent today from his memorial service, which was taking place in St George's Chapel, the same chapel uh, where she married her husband uh, some five years ago. But quite remarkably, her parents, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, were there putting on a, a very brave face uh, at that memorial service, despite the news that they had received about the death, uh, the shock death of their son-in-law just a matter of hours earlier. Yeah, terribly sad news, Sarah. And when you think about it in that context, to see them there in that same uh, place where they witnessed that marriage, unbelievable. Look, and all of this coming at the same time as a lot of questions are being raised and we're not in the business of kind of speculation and conspiracy, but a lot of people asking uh, about what's happening with Prince William and Kate at the moment. Some people mentioned it. We haven't actually seen Kate in public. Obviously, she had abdominal surgery. We knew about that. But since Christmas at this point, we're at the end of February. Yes, although Kensington Palace were very clear at the time they made the announcement about uh, the Princess of Wales' abdominal surgery that we weren't likely to see her until April, until after Easter uh, at least. But uh, today we got the news that Prince William would not be attending that memorial service for King Constantine of Greece, his godfather uh, as well. He had been due to attend. He was due to be giving a reading. His name was in the order of service, but at the last minute he had to pull out for uh, what was described as a personal matter. He phoned the Greek royal family uh, to uh, express his apologies, but Kensington Palace not giving any more details details about why he was absent. They did give us uh, some news, though, about the Princess of Wales and said that she's continuing uh, to do well at home at Adelaide Cottage on the Windsor Estate, which is reassuring because, of course, once that news broke that the Prince of Wales would be missing such an important event for the royal family uh, today, of course, alarm bells did start to ring, but we are told by Kensington Palace that she is doing well, at least, and we don't know why the Prince of Wales missed that event. Sarah Houston, our role editor here at Talk TV. We appreciate it. I'm sure we'll be talking more in the coming days. Thank you.